Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you go about either disputing a payment or filing a claim on a payment that was made through your PayPal account. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than either a chargeback or a bank reversal, but they're all kind of a means to a similar end. It's just the fact that a dispute and claim process is going directly through PayPal, whereas if you do a chargeback, that would be the buyer going through their card issuer, such as their credit card company, to request a refund for a purchase. And then a bank reversal is similar to a chargeback, but it's when the buyer goes through their bank to request a refund. So if you wanted to do either a chargeback or a bank reversal, you're either going to have to go through your credit card or your bank to do those. Again, I'm showing you guys how to do this with the dispute and claim process that is in PayPal itself. And also, I'm going to link a couple of articles at the top of the video description so you can read up on a bit more information about this whole process and what you should do, particularly this article from PayPal that lays it all out right here, what you should do if there's a problem with a purchase, what you should do if your order has never arrived, or maybe your order has arrived, but there's a problem with it. You can read all of the different examples that might apply in this instance. And again, I'll have these two articles linked at the top of the video description. So now going over to my PayPal account, and I'm going to show you guys how you go about disputing a payment or a transaction. So I'm going to link paypal.com as well at the top of the video description. Once you're over at PayPal, click the login button and log in with your email and password. And once you're logged in to your PayPal account, what you want to do is go into this area where it says send request and then there's a more option with these three vertical dots. That's what we want to click on here first in our account summary page. And then that pops up a list of more options. And if we scroll down here way at the bottom, you can find where it says go to resolution center. That's what we want to click on next. And if you're having an issue trying to find the resolution center, it's also just as simple as going to paypal.com slash disputes. And I'll also post a link to this page in the video description as well. So once we're in the resolution center, what we want to click on is report a problem. And that's going to take you over so that you can see all of your transactions and whichever transaction that you're having the problem with, just go ahead and click on it. And then it's going to have a drop down area that's going to give you the information that's pertaining to that particular transaction. And if that's the one that you're looking for and it all checks out, then go ahead and down towards the bottom where it says report a problem, you click where it says continue. And then on the report a problem page, it has your transaction listed that you just selected. And then it says, have you already been in touch with the seller? This is often the best way to resolve a problem. And it gives you some other extra helpful information here in my instance from eBay, because that's the issue that I would be reporting in this instance. And if you continue to scroll down, it gives you some different options on what type of problem you'd like to report. For instance, I didn't receive an item that I purchased. I received an item that's not as described. I want to report unauthorized activity. I have a billing issue. And of course, if none of these issues apply to you, you can always back out by clicking the back button. And for this instance, for my purchase, I have a billing issue. So I'm going to click this last option here. And then on the report billing issue page, when you scroll down, it gives you some more options here, such as an incorrect transaction amount, refunds, duplicate charge, paid another way or subscriptions. And in this instance, I'm going to be clicking here on paid another way. And then PayPal will ask you for more information about the issue. So you fill all that out, click continue. And then eventually you should work your way to the point where you have successfully filed your dispute. And going over to this helpful article resource, it is important to note that disputes must be opened within 180 days of the payment date. And then also that the seller is going to have 20 days to work things out with the buyer after you open up a dispute. And if your initial attempts to resolve the problem with the seller are unsuccessful, you can escalate this to a claim. And that's as simple as just going back to the resolution center, the initial page that we were on, the paypal.com slash dispute, that's going to take you over to the resolution center, and then select file a claim to escalate. And you must file your claim within 20 days when the dispute was first to open, and then PayPal will review the case to try to provide a final decision within 30 days. So that's going to be the process that you go through to open up a dispute. And if that doesn't work, escalating that dispute to a claim in your PayPal account. And again, guys, the other options that you have are doing a chargeback, which is going through your card issuer to request a refund, as well as a bank reversal, which is going through your bank to request a refund. So those are the different options that you have available to you. Again, I'll have all the resources that I showed you in this video posted at the top of the video description. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.